Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Twitter, and Periscope at Nay Rob on YouTube. Now, let's talk 2016. Okay, guys. Um, y'all see I got my good Olivia Pope on that white trench, baby. You know, it ain't uh what Olivia Pope be wearing. Valentino, it ain't that, trust me, it ain't that. But um I want to say uh, this to uh, my naysayers. I want to say that um, I think I say this like over and over again, but I just want you guys to know how grateful I am for your support, how thankful I am for you all's prayers and um, your kind words. Um, Rosa, uh, I just sent your box and um, Troy got his gift. Um, NYC chocolate, no, no, NYC chocolate 777. You haven't sent me your information yet, so I can mail you your um package. Um, but uh, you know, I'm gonna give you 20 another 24 48 hours because I'm really not into begging people to let me be kind to them, so uh. I'm going to give you another two days. But if you don't, I'm going to have to move on. Um, Chocolate Divine, I mailed your package. Um, Ebony, your package is on the way. Also, I have a couple of other packages that I'm going to mail out. I'm going to contact you all uh, and let you guys know, uh, you know, and get you guys information too. But um, just, you know, it it is just something to say thank you guys. I wish I could give everybody something um special but you know i'm not built like that to be able to do that um but um let me move on to this um kimberell um because i am a part of the community i have to say something um um i i saw t.s madison this morning um when i woke up um, I could feel her pain. And if you guys don't know who she is, she's a transsexual with a, a large platform. Um, she used to be a sex worker and she uh, built her brand up to be something beyond that. And uh, I, when I seen her video today, I mean, I just, I just, it, it made me want to cry because I could see the pain that she felt. You know, like she was saying, it's it's not the gays that are destroying the world. You know, it's not the gays. It's really not. It's, um, you know, bigger things that we need to be concerned about. We probably need to be more concerned about a president that we don't know what truly his platform is. Truly. We, we really don't know where his head is at at all. We really don't know where he stands on anything. We just don't know. We should be worried about that. Okay? Um but uh I I'm, let me say this to Kim Burrell and all the people that are, you know, fine with Kim Burrell. Um or you know, have no problem with what she said. Let me um, explain to you something. Um, gay people do not choose to be gay. No one chooses to be ridiculed, criticized, beaten, uh, killed, and um, and talked about and shunned at home or in the community. Um, yes, the people who have sex with the same sex for fun, I can say yes, they have a choice. But... When you close your eyes and you can't help but think of loving the same sex, uh, yeah, you're born, you're born to, um, you're born with that. And believe me, uh, if I could get the feeling of loving another woman out of my soul, it would be out because I'm telling you, it is a tough thing. To walk this earth and um, uh, be in 
just just such judgment because guys please make sure you guys thumbs up all my videos because i i have i don't know who it is and who i pissed off i you know but some of my videos i'm like wait a minute there's no reason for me to get thumbs down on this one i ain't even said nothing you know but you know you to just get judged and criticized and hated because of who you love if i'm getting thumbs down on youtube just because i'm talking about something somebody really don't care about imagine what i would get if i said to uh, uh um, a homophobic person that i was homo that i was homosexual you know or that i was a part of the community nobody chooses to be that so, um, Kim Burrell, uh, I'm gonna need you to give Frank Ocean back all his money, all of it, you know? Like, I was looking at James Caldwell, uh, Ellen, don't let, don't let that hussy on your show, don't let her on her, on that show, cancel her, cancel her, do not let somebody that speaks like that sit on your couch, because anybody that hates, that hates the homos, you can't come here, there's no gay bashing on this channel, at all at all and if somebody says something like that y'all know i gathers them quickly if i catch it oh i gather them so kimberell you know i don't like saying ead but y'all know what ead meant mean i ain't said it in a while but you know you know what you could do um the next thing is i want to talk to kenya right quick kenya let me tell you something them people done came over your fence. You hear me? You done let them live. You hear me? You done let them people go over your fence without sending a warning. You're going to have other mother suckers that's going to try you, baby. They're going to try you. And I understand you done put that Instagram post out there. And, you know, you like, you invaded my property. It's supposed, you know, three men came and knocked on my door. And then the girl retorted on Instagram and was like, Kenya, we was looking at your house from the road. That's not true. Because they were clear, the, the photos that Kenya Moore had were clearly the people, the three people were on her little driveway. So that's not true. And I, something's fishy about that girl that was like my family. Something's fishy about that. But at any rate, Kenya, let me say something to you. Um, you're going to have to warn people. You know, because my favorite saying is, you get the first one for free. But the second one, you're going to have to pay for. You did. So you're going to have people trying you because you didn't set them people straight that first time. You pulled that thing out in the camera. You better be ready to use it. That's your property, baby. You know, I don't know why people try it down south. You know, I told y'all. I was madly in love with a Texan. And that ninja is nothing to play with. He told me, baby, and this ain't funny, y'all. This is not funny. This ain't funny. But he said, baby, sometimes you got to teach lessons to people. Because if you don't, they'll come back. If they see you as soft, they will come back. And Kenya Moore, that is a, you, you are prime for uh, people trying you again because that first person got away with it. I ain't saying you're supposed to kill nobody. I'm not saying that. But send a warning. That's what I'm saying. Remember this, guys. Sometimes you might have to let the person get away with the first one for free. But you better tell them the second one they're going to have to pay for. Now, in 2016, guys, remember this. Keep this in mind always. Always keep this in mind, babes. It's only the people beneath you that reach up that want to pull you down. And you know who said that? The biggest hole in the world. It's always the person that has to reach up that wants to pull you down. That want to pull you down. And you know who said that? Corinne Stephens. And I learned it through my baby, T.S. Madison. Pay them haters no friggin' mind in 2017. Be beautiful, 
stay beautiful. All my naysayers are beautiful. You are beautiful people. Remember that. Remember that you have promised me in 2017 that you're going to be the best you that you can be. I don't give two craps about weight. I don't care nothing about that. I don't care two craps about none of that. None of that. I don't want to hear nothing about no negativity in 2017. You guys promised me that you was going to be the best naysayer that you can be. You're going to be good physically. You're going to take care of your body. You're going to take care of your face. I know that some of my mother naysayers, you spend so much time taking care of the kids that you don't have time to take care of you. Take care of you naysayers. This isn't just a, a a YouTube subscription, guys. This is a movement. Naysayers. Happy New Year. Peace.